in this video we will find the output of this op amp circuit so, that is v0 here the inputs are v1 and v2 and the resistance are r1 r2 r3 and 4 and this is the inverting and this is the non inverting terminal so find the output and the given data are v1 equals to 2 volt v2 equals to 1 volt r1 equal to 50 ohm r2 equal to 50 ohm and r3 is also equal to 50 ohm and r4 equal to 100 ohm with this given data we have to find output v0 so let's start ok first of all consider this loop and in this loop there will be no current through the op amp because the input impedance of op amp is high so current will flow in this direction so for this loop v1 minus potential at this point is vp so we consider this so v1 minus vp by resistance that is r1 equal to vp minus this potential is zero because this point is grounded so vp minus zero by resistance r3 ok now we have to put the values of r1 and r3 so put this value v1 minus vp by r1 has the value 50 ohm equal to vp by r3 has the resistance 50 ohm and from this v1 minus vp equal to vp and so v1 equals to twice vp so vp equals to v1 by 2 ok now we have to consider the this loop and for this loop there will be no current in this op amp because the input impedance is high so the current will be in this direction so for this loop and one thing this the potential at this point would be vp also because the input impedance is high so these two points have the same potential that is called virtual ground so for this loop v2 minus vp by r2 that's equal to vp minus v0 by r4 because there will be no current through the op amp only this reason by r4 now similarly we have to put the value of r2 and r4 so put that r2 has the value 50 ohm r4 has the value 100 ohm so that is 50 ohm and vp minus v0 by r4 has the value 100 ohm and from this v2 minus vp by 1 equals to vp minus v0 by 2 because this ok so we have to simplify this so that is 2 v2 minus twice vp equals to vp minus v0 and from this twice v2 equals to thrice vp minus v0 and from this vp sorry v0 equals to thrice vp minus twice v2 now we just put the value of vp from this equation 1 that we got from the first loop so vp has the value of v1 by 2 so thrice into v1 by 2 minus twice v2 now we know the value of v1 and v2 because these are all the given data so v1 and v2 has a value like twice 2 volt and 1 volt so we put this value minus v2 as well 1 volt 1 so that is 3 minus 2 that is 1 volt so the output of this op amp circuit is exactly 1 volt thus we easily find the output of this op amp circuit as 1 volt